What's going on guys? Today I got me a little side job I'm doing right now. Today is Friday. It's about almost about to be eight o'clock. Uh, been out here since uh, I think six. I got off at five o'clock today and uh, I got a call about doing a little side job. Uh, I will show you how I got the side job towards the end of the video. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we're doing. You know, we got the SA200 out here running good. Uh, we're doing some 6010 7018 flinge that I welded 532. Uh, so we're gonna be over here. This is our fitter right there. We're gonna tie in at that flinch right there. Just doing a little small job. Me and my little homie Chewy, little youngin, only 22 years old. And we are out here right now making some little extra money. We're about to do some 6010. We got some carbon, we got some uh, four inch right there. We got to fit these knives up. And it's gonna tie in right here. Uh, a little easy job, you know. Uh, I decided to come out here and just uh, make some little bit of extra money. Little homie too. It's about nine o'clock now. Still out here. Out here doing it. What's up guys that video that i did that was for friday today is actually monday and i uh, supposed to upload every mondays but i was really really busy all week and i didn't get a chance to but i'm gonna post this uh video tuesday morning uh y'all gonna be able to see it tuesday morning but anyways yeah man uh that friday like i said i worked that 10 hour shift i worked from 7 to 5 30 when i did get that call that friday this that guy said he needed a rig order for that night it was only supposed to be for a few hours, so I said, "Fuck it, I'll do it." So I went, I went, and it turned, in, and it ended up being, damn, a ten-hour shift. So I worked ten hours that Friday, and I ended up working ten more hours that night. I got home around 4:30 in the morning because I was working way in Galveston, so it took me about an hour to get home. So I did a ten-hour shift. I came home at 4:30 in the morning. I took a shower. I took a nap for like an hour then I had to get up and go to work I could have missed work but the only reason I didn't is because man that was overtime money man I was not about to miss on the overtime money so I took an hour nap I ended up going to work I went to work I was not I wasn't really tired uh, I took a big-ass Red Bull in the morning I'll tell you that much I took a Red Bull in the morning and uh, you know uh, I ended up going to work I could have went to sleep in my truck, but if y'all can see, I ain't got no tinted windows. I actually got to go take care of that uh, and tint my windows so they can't see. Because one of my boys, another welder, was like, man, go to sleep in your truck and I'll weld everything for you. And I'll, I'll call you whenever they are looking for you or whatever. But since I ain't got no tinted windows in my uh, truck, I couldn't do it. But, uh, yeah, so I worked three shifts back to back, you know. That, that night I, I came home and I slept to probably the next day. But I'm glad I did it. You know, that was actually my first side of business call that I get. When the oil field started to get slow, you know, uh, I started to get worried. I was like, man, the job is about to be done with. Plus, we had that COVID-19. So I was really worried about the job. Then where I was working at, we was almost down to a few weeks. But luckily, if y'all been following my channel, uh, one of my friends was able to give me a job reward and where I'm at now. But uh, before that, you know, I wanted to start getting creative on how can I make money. So I started thinking, you know, and I was like, man, I need to find a way to make extra money or trying to find a way to keep myself busy. So I decided to uh, make some of these business cards right here. I made a few business cards. I got this from Office Depot. I think it was like 50 of them for like $10. But uh, yes, I got some business cards, uh, just the name of what you're doing, you know, my first and last name, uh, Rig Welder Combo, you know, basically telling the guys what I do. Uh, phone number, I have a second phone number because I have a 504 area code and I could tell that I really couldn't scratch that off. But anyways, yeah, I have a 504 area code. So I have a second phone with 713, which is Houston, which is a Google Voice. Uh, if you don't want to use your personal phone, you can get a Google Voice number, and it's actually free. Uh, it's actually free. 
so you'll be able to have two phones so it's good to have two phones so two ways they can contact you and I have the email address of uh, another uh, different method they could they could contact me but yeah man I, I made uh, these business cards and uh, I handed them out uh, but this is basically what you want your business card to look like I'm actually about to redo it uh, to look, make it look more professional you know uh, this is just my the beginners one but it did work it got the job done but like I was saying, it got the job done. I was really excited that I was able to make some extra money. And right now I'm actually uh, talking to the guy and we are uh, working out of me coming in on Saturdays and doing some uh, side work for him. Right now where I'm at, we're only working 50 hours. So, you know, it'll be nice to get some extra uh, money, you know, since, you know, I'm, I'm trying to grow my business right now, you know, uh, I'm trying to get some extra cash. I'm gonna use this extra cash to put into my rig. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I really want to get some mud tires. I feel like my truck just don't look right without mud tires, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I want to get some 35s uh, mud tires, and I'm thinking about getting a lift. I really want a six-inch lift, but I don't know, man. Uh, any guys that, uh, if y'all watching this channel, if you have a lift on your truck, how do you like it? How does it ride with the machine? A lot of people say it's, it's really not that good because your truck will shake a lot but other people told me different now if you got a six inch lift with mud tires let me know man and let me know what kind of lift you got i'm still in the market so i'm trying to get a lift on this truck but like i said i don't know uh, i got other things going on so i'll see where the extra money goes to but yeah the business card worked man what i started doing was i started uh, the job site where i was they had uh, contractors come in and i seen this guy you know i seen him come in and he had one rig welder with him and I was like, I started talking to him, seeing what he was doing. He had told me he had just started a business. He was doing mechanical and branching off into refineries and doing certain type of piping work. So I started talking to him and uh, I decided to make some business cards and I gave him my business card. I was like, hey, look, I'm a rig welder. If you have any work, it don't matter how big or how small, I'll go ahead and take care of that for you. Just give me a call and uh, we can work something out. So yeah, so. It ended up working you know uh he remembered me he had my business he had my business card so he ended up calling me so yeah man everything worked out so what i'm gonna start doing now is uh really pushing my business out uh, i come i come in contact with a lot of other business people who deal with uh welding so what i'm gonna start doing is just start handing my business card out to anybody i see so if, I, if, if I'm at the gas station and I see somebody and they look like they do piping, I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to see what you're doing and I'm going to give you my business card. So hopefully I can make some extra cash or you never know, you know, I might find some long term. So it's all about getting creative guys right now because I've been getting a lot of guys uh, messaging me about how to get a job right now. And it's, 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 it's difficult, man. Most of these jobs are only wrecking. So I'm going to probably make a video on how to get jobs now. Uh, I have a few techniques that actually been working for me on getting jobs. Uh, when I first moved to Houston, I'm um, really from Louisiana, I didn't know anybody. So I couldn't have nobody to put my name in, but uh, I, I tweaked a few things, you know, I was able to make me a good resume. And I've been lucky, I've been staying busy and I never moved back to Louisiana and I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna stay in Houston. I've been staying busy ever since. But yeah, man, uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers, man. I hit 206 subscribers, man. It's crazy how many subscribers I'm gaining. So, man, I really appreciate y'all. If y'all follow my channel, man, you're going to follow me on this journey. I'm, you know, I'm just really starting to build my uh, rig welding uh, business up. I'm trying to build my rig truck up. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm able to see my growth in my journey. So, uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, man. If you hit the like button... It uh, helps me, it helps my videos, YouTube will start pushing my videos out more and it will help me grow my channel. So you know, that, that will mean a lot. But all the guys that hit me up about uh, practicing and doing some 6010, I uh, didn't forget about y'all guys. I just gotta work out my schedule, but I will start getting with y'all on a Sunday or, or Saturday if I'm off. I'm gonna hit y'all up, but didn't forget about y'all. Uh, we're gonna get together and we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. But like I said, man, I appreciate all y'all. I appreciate all my new subscribers. I appreciate everything. You know, whenever y'all hit me up and tell me that you like my videos, it really, you know, motivates me to keep doing these videos and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully I'm able to, you know, I'll help somebody out. But, man, I appreciate y'all time. If you got this far, I appreciate, appreciate you believing in me and uh, enjoying my videos. I uh, will post this Tuesday. So thank y'all so much for watching. Like I said, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, I'll see y'all next time.